Hello everybody and welcome to the practical part. Uh, in this video, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how we apply the knowledge that we learned in the PowerPoint into the programming environment. Now, as we talked about in the previous video, we talked about there are commands that goes with each uh, programming language and a programming language, it's a, a, a tool that allows us to communicate an issue command to a computer. Now, in the previous uh, PowerPoint, we talked about these things called import, and we talked about something called forward to draw a box, all right? Now, how do we actually apply this in, in a programming environment? Now, as we talked about, we're going to be using ripple.it. Uh, ripple now, we have this tool, uh, website. All you need to do is that you go and type in repl.it and it allow you to do what? It allow you to create new programs. After you sign up and put your email, you come back here and you log into this website. Now, to get started, you need to go to this thing called My Repl. And I'll make it bigger here so you can see it. Okay, it's called My Repl, all right? Uh, and then all you need to do is that you go to start with, you don't have any programs because this is your first uh, program, let's say. So you go to this a new REPL and then you will get options. Now, as we talked about the different in the, in the previous PowerPoints, this website is act as what we call IDE, as an integrated development environment, a way to develop programs. But the beauty about it is that you don't need a, a, a software installed on your computer. You can just go to this the website and you can start developing programs. Now, there are many different programs and then the different programming languages. And then you can look at the list. And we talked about these in the previous PowerPoints. But we don't really need to worry about this because all we're looking at is that we want to use Python with Turtle to learn the basics of Python and programming languages. So how do I get started? When I click on New REPL, you go in here and you just search for Turtle. <clears throat> and then you get, you get uh, the option about Python with Turtle. Okay, now they're different. There's Python, regular Python, and Python with Turtle. This one allows you to use the Turtle package or library in order to do what? In order to uh, start drawing and, and learn the basics of programming. So I'm going to click on that. <clears throat> Once you click on it, you get the environment that you can develop in. We have what we have here. We have the place we can write the commands, those commands that we learned previously or we, we introduced to before, and a place we can see results. Okay, And here I can type my programs, and in the result I have a place where you can see the graphics and a place we can see text. Okay, I'm going to show you both. And after you type in your program, you can click on here to run it. Now these are uh, these are uh, like random names for your program. Now maybe it's hard to remember these names. You can edit these names. So I'm gonna call drawing. I'm gonna change this and say call it square, drawing squares. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, and then you can give it a name and then you can make it public uh, and then that's it. All right, it's, it's public and then you're done. Now, the name of the program changed to drawing squares. Now here, I will hit enter. Notice every time you hit enter, it says actually it's saving, saving your work. So you don't need to do any saves. It just saves your work. So what do we do in this program? What are we trying to do? What we're trying to do, we're trying to draw a square. How do we draw a square? We need to learn the language that allows us to communicate with the program. Now, I'm going to introduce you in this video to only basic uh, commands. And what we're going to do, eventually, you build on these commands little by little until you become uh, familiar and more familiar with the programming environment. Okay, so the first thing we did in that PowerPoint was is to use something called import. And then we're going to use the library called Turtle. And I'm going to call it as T. What, are we, what did we do here? What we just did, actually, we just issued a command to the computer to say, I want you to include in my program something that somebody else developed, somebody that actually uh, was nice enough 
to write the program and made it available for us. So this thing that somebody wrote is called Turtle, and we call that a library. Now, there are many, many libraries like we, like we looked at before, but this is the one that relates to drawing. Okay, and so right now in my program, this Turtle or this library or set of programs are available for me to use. Now, instead of actually typing Turtle, 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 all of that, we create an object, a copy of it in my program, all right? And that what we call it as T. Now T, it could be uh, B, it could be C, it could be anything you want, something that you have control over. And in, in, in computer term, this is called an object. So I'm gonna call that T. Now T have all the commands that are available in Turtle, okay? And that we've learned, for example, how to draw a line. And how to draw a line, for example, you can say T forward. If I, I am. And then you give it the value that you want to move. For example, here I say I want to move 100 points. Now, the command that you're issuing belong to this library called Turtle. Commands usually require, some commands require input. In this case, this command called forward requires you to pass it some input. And the way you pass inputs, you pass input in between parentheses. Now, this is called functions. You will be introduced to it later on, but for now, think about it as a command. This command require me input. And this input determine the output of this command. For example, now I'm ready to test it. And how do I test it? I just simply hit the play button here and I should see the result in here. So when I click on this, notice I got my line. Now that line is 100 points. Why is it 100 points? Because it, depend it is, depends on that input that you put in here. Now if I say I don't want 100, I want to put 200. Now if I put 200, notice your command is longer and that is based on your input of that command or function. All right, so now that was your first command that you learn now which is now I have the well actually the second one you have the import the import a library and then you have the forward which belong to the turtle library now we can use things like we want to draw a box so we can use another command that we was introduced to you earlier which is what which is left and left you can tell it again it's a command or a function that requires you to pass information to it in this case, when you're telling something to turn, you want to tell them the degree that you want to turn in. You want to turn. For example, I want to turn 90 degree, 60 degree, 70 degree, and it depends on your problem. Our problem to draw is that we are trying to draw a box. And to draw that box, you need what? You need to turn by 90 degree. So I'm going to say, I'm going to turn left by 90 degree. Now, it's a good practice when you're programming is that it, you, know, you you, as you type things in, you try it, you test it. Now, as a beginner, I recommend this very highly because you don't know, you're not familiar with this environment yet. So every time you type in something, you try it to see if it actually works. Why? It reduces frustration, reduces error, all of that, okay? And you can pinpoint an error right away, okay? So now look what happens. If I do run, what happens? Notice that arrow here actually shifted. It turned by 90 degree. Now, if I draw anything, I'm gonna change that back to 100 so it looks smaller. If I draw anything, or if I move in that direction, it actually move upward by 90 degree from the original, the original uh, direction. So now watch, if I do this command copy, and command, co command uh, copy and paste works well at the beginning. Why? Because you know this command work. You've done it before, copy it and paste it, and you guarantee that it works again with less error. Now, obviously, if you want to learn more, if you want to learn it better, you type it again so it settles in your brain. So now what happens? Watch what happens. Now it goes this, and now I drew what? I drew that second leg of that box. Now notice this can, to draw a box, all I need to do is that I did this, turn, I did this, turn, I, did, I move forward again, and then turn and move forward again, and I'm done. I've done my box. So what you can do, you simply, you can copy and paste these four times, 
and that would be your first program. How about that? Okay, test it again. Here it is, that one there, and then that this is there, right? Now that direction still points downward. So if you move forward, it will move, continue to move forward. To change direction, you will have to give it a command to change direction. Now, so far, there really, all what we did here, we learned only three commands, which is the import, move forward, and then turn left. Now, I'm sure there are other commands, but you don't need to worry about it right now because this is the problem you're given. Abstraction, remember, this is the problem that you're given. You focus on the commands that you need only. Now, if I ask you if I change the problem a little bit more, and I ask you now, after you're done, I want you to turn right instead of left. Now, that would be, and draw another box, okay? What do you do? You can say, for example, after this, T dot right, and what, 90 degree. Now, what happens here? Watch what happens. It goes like this, like this, like this, and then it turned that way. So now, if you, if you draw, it will actually draw that direction, all right? So if I do forward again, command copy and command V. Okay, I didn't copy it. All right, so let's do that. Command copy, command V. And run it again, notice what will happen. It goes like this, and then now it moves that direction. So we just added another command. And I'm sure there is more commands, but again, little by little, you will learn. Again, this is what we're trying to do with you. We're trying to build your confidence and allow you to, do, to learn this process very easily. Now, if I wanna summarize in this video what we have done, and then we're gonna do another one that helps you. We're gonna modify this solution a little bit, make it a little bit more fun. What we've done, we've created a program. We took the algorithm that we've done before, translated it into a computer program, and in doing so, we learn the, the basics of Python programming. First, we learn something called import. Import, again, allow you to include in your program a set of uh, programs somebody else wrote them, and these we call libraries. And after that, we give it a name, our own name, we call it an object, that way it allow us to use it in the program. The command that we learned, which exists in this turtle library, forward, allow you to move forward. Another one, left. Another one, right. Okay, that's all you need to worry about in this video. Now, my, my suggestion to you, when you're done with this, is go and try to draw different shapes. Just using these basic commands, try to draw different shapes and see what you come up with.